Hey everyone, it's Byron once again here to testify for Jesus Christ. I uh, did my last video and I talked about some things that I was going to go back and cover from the uh, uh, past couple of months when I've been quiet. Uh, right now I'm going to call this one October Shock and I'm going to cover a dream, very short, uh, but it has a big meaning. Uh, the, the one thing about the dream is I heard a man's name and the man is a guy who uh, I've known since probably I was 10 years old. Uh, been to church with him, uh, various other sporting events, things like that. Actually, I've probably known him longer than from when I, when I was 10 years old, but a very respected man. In, in the dream, I heard his name, and then I heard Dallas Mogul. Um, then I woke up. Now, initially, I didn't quite know what a mogul was, and I spelled it M-O-G-U-L. But if you run the etymology of the word and all that stuff, you can actually trace it all the way back to Islamic um, invasion into India uh, back in the, I don't know, 1500s, 1600s. Uh, they still have temples over there these guys built. They were called moguls. It was a different spelling. You can see it in etymology. Maybe I'll put it on the screen. Um, but these guys came into India, invaded. There was a lot of bloodshed, a lot of heads chopped. In, in essence, uh, when they finished, they had pilfered or got the, the gains of the land, uh, the riches and things like that, built temples. And then some of the temples they built, they, they built them in uh, non-tenable areas or areas that were short on water supply. So today you can go and you can see a temple that's unoccupied because the water ran out or things like that. But they were basically uh, warlords uh, who were glorified with a lot of money and controlled a particular area in India. Uh, the Sikhs, which is another religion, the, the Sikhs were a, a, a big enemy of them. So after learning that, what a mogul really was, sometimes today you might hear the word mogul and think, well, he's a record company mogul or, or something like that, which just means a guy who controls a lot of the business. Um, that's not the case with the origins or the root of the word. It can even be traced all the way back into the Mongols. Um, so having seen or heard a person's name that I was very close to uh, during my life, having realized I've been in church with this guy, and now I realize a dream from the Lord says Dallas Mogul. Um, I started tying that in with other dreams and visions that I've had. Uh, one, wolves being the reason people can't see what's going on. Um, the um, infiltration of the church by people. Uh, the use of enemy weapons inside the, the, the land. Um, and then in my warning to the U.S. dream, I saw a thing where there was an organized effort to try to change people's minds in their manner of religion. Uh, this was happening inside the United States. They used a mist to run people into buildings. Then there was like squad leaders and things like that <clears throat> trying to convince people, well, this is how I used to think, but now I think this way trying to draw people away from, say, Jesus Christ into what I believe to be the Antichrist. Based on having seen that, uh, I also believe that there are men designated to run particular areas or to be the mogul in a particular area to see that operations go uh, according to schedule and to plan. Uh, this persecution that's coming is going to be a big shocker. It's been a shocker for me to see events that are to come uh, before they actually happen. And uh, I have seen a member of my family uh, persecuting the true church of Jesus Christ. Uh, I have seen people, another person that I have previously gone to two different churches with, uh, enjoying the fact that Christians were being persecuted. And then in October, which sent me in the shock, uh, the Lord showed me an, yet another one who is going to actually be a mogul or runner of the operation. I don't know if it's, you know, specifically Dallas for this specific person, purpose person, or if it's just um, broadly telling me 
Byron, this is what's going to happen. But nevertheless, uh, I went into a shock when I saw that. And uh, I need to mention here, it was not only a shock, but the Lord gave me a peace uh, in which he was then able to teach me some things. And I'm going to cover that later. Uh, but this piece, uh, for the first time in several years, uh, basically sitting still and not trying to actively uh, do something, but to just be still and listen and see what he had to share with me. And I'll cover that later in another dream. So this one is called, uh, I guess, o October Shock, uh, Dallas Mogul, uh, which the Lord revealed to me one of the members, or at least in ideal ideally or whatever ideologically uh, in figurative form he showed me there will be men perhaps women as well uh, who are among us right now who will actually uh, oversee what is coming uh, as far as the persecution of the people uh, the Christians in the United States now I see the United States a little separate from the rest of the world it's almost as if I see what there's going to come a time here in the United States uh, in which Christian persecution is going to increase huge. Um, and then people in the United States are going to think, well, we've put down the Christian problem. We're okay. Uh, but then, as the Lord has shown me, uh, we're also Babylon. Uh, the Lord will take his vengeance on this nation. And I've seen enemy soldiers running through here. Uh, the bottom line, no matter whether or not you are a Christian or whether or not you're not a Christian, uh, hard times are coming for each and every individual within the continental and perhaps even Hawaii and Alaska, uh, the continental United States or Hawaii and Alaska. And it comes down to, have you believed the gospel of Jesus Christ? If you have and have believed and trusted in Jesus Christ, have you not allowed yourself to be sidetracked and go on all these little different tangents that make people believe, I mean, and people literally think this, that they're going to escape those things that are actually um, coming. But your Bible doesn't read that way. They believe that they're going to be secretly raptured somehow. And I, what I'm getting from the Lord is as these things are building, as these things are coming, the Lord is also bringing his people to the forefront his people to fight the good fight uh, as the days get dark so does the light increase as well and um, I know particularly myself I'm seeing that I know of others that are seeing that as well so uh, that was the shock of October of seeing that uh, it was particularly shocking when I know the person personally I could go to him right now shake their hand they would be all smiles and ask me all about my family uh, but that, that was a shock. So, see you later.